Hey there, it's Ashley with another tutorial today. Uh, it's going to be a quick one. This is about how to easily track clicks and downloads to your files in Google Drive. So this is a question I know that a lot of people have asked and wondered, including myself, of course, at some point. So uh, yeah, it's pretty simple and easy. I'm just going to run you through it real fast. Uh, the first step is to head on over to Google Drive drive.google.com which is where I'm at right here so uh, in order to track anything uh, going on with your Google uh, Drive files you have to have it set to publicly viewable the file in question so most of you probably already know how to set uh, the settings for a file uh, to public but for those of you who do not we'll run you through it real fast so for my example I'm just gonna choose a one of my photos that I've uploaded which is right here I'm just going to double click it in Google Drive. So that'll bring up the photo. And uh, so in order to set it to public, we want to go hover over it. And then in the upper right hand corner, you'll see these three dots in Google Drive. It says more actions. We're going to click that. And we want to go to the first choice, which is share. And that'll bring a pop up window. So uh, down here it says restricted, only people added can open with this link. So what we want to do is we want to click change to anyone with the link. Click that. So that's going to bring this up and what we want to do is we want to copy this link. Copy, it'll say link copied. Okay, and pretty much we're done with that at this point. So next open up a new tab and we're going to go to a site called good URL it's gdurl.com and I have of course stuck a link to this in the uh, description for the video if that's easier for you so anyhow uh, the first thing we need to do here is uh, kind of, it's uh, an add-on for Google Drive so we're gonna click on connect Google Drive and then choose your account obviously takes it a second to sync up with your account and your files. All right, so when it's done, it will reload the screen. And you'll notice that down here, this is my Google Drive. These are all my folders, all my files, right? So, but what we wanna do right now is make a trackable link for the photo we just had. So in this big, big box here, <laughs> we're just gonna click it like that. And then we're gonna paste our link like that. Oops, <laughs> just making sure it stayed the same here. All right, and then we're gonna click Create Permalink. All right, so that takes us to a page where here's our file name, uh, and down here you will see uh, it has made a, a link right here. It's kind of hard to see, it's kind of small, so it's easy to overlook. But uh, this link, if you right click and copy the link address, then open up a new tab and then paste and go to that URL that they gave you and you'll see it takes you right directly to my image file. So this is useful if you want to embed this in an HTML image tag or if you just need to directly link to the photo for some other reason. So that's nifty. Uh, going back to our page here, uh, if you scroll down, this is a download URL, so if you want the users to download the file rather than just view it in the browser like we just did, um, like that, then you can use this link right here. So you would copy and paste that one instead. So, uh, and you can do this with as many of your files as you'd like. When you're done with that, you just go create another URL. But uh, the really cool thing about this, of course, is that you can track this page over time. So what I would do is go up here and, and just bookmark this page right here that has your file on it. I'm sorry. What I meant was up here. Permanent link to this page. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so you click that. <laughs> so, and that will take you to this page here which has statistics. And it'll tell you standard views, download views, total views. Obviously, the only person who's viewed it yet is me, so there's only one. But uh, the cool thing too is that if you go back to uh, the main website, and scroll down to your files down here, 
uh, you'll notice that some of these uh, files have a green link right after them like that. And that means that I have already created a good URL for those. And uh, all I have to do is click on that and it will take me to the page and it'll show me the file just like the other one. That's a picture of me and it will tell you your views. This one's at 31 views. So it's pretty freaking cool, guys. It's free. I am not affiliated with it in any way, but I just thought it's really, really helpful and I've used it a ton for lots of stuff. So I hope this is helpful to you guys. And uh, also, um, if you find this useful, uh, become a backer on Patreon. You'll notice that they are asking for you to become a backer because they do this. They offer this service for free. It's a really cool thing. So yeah, if you can support the creator, that'd be fantastic. But anyhow, it's a great tool. Uh, I hope you use it. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks.